Hello guys, how are you? Today we are going to cover the most important interview topic in .NET Core, the middleware. We will cover the middleware by using the code implementation. I will told you that few days ago, one of my .NET colleague developer told me that he was asked about the middleware uh, in uh, an interview question. So he gave the basic definition of the middleware and then the interviewer told him to implement a new middleware without the help of Google and ChatGPT. And he, to, uh, he give, assigned the task like to implement a middleware that checks if a request contains the query parameter product ID is equal to 20. If it exists then he has to redirect the request to the contact us page. Right? Now today we will basically implement these questions from scratch using the code implementation. So first of all I will just give you a little definition what is a middleware. A middleware basically is a component in .NET code that processes HTTP requests and responses as they travel through the pipeline. Okay. So middleware component can inspect, modify and even short circuit the request or response process. Okay. Now about the implementation that my uh, colleague was asked in an interview. So let's me move towards the code environment. Here I have to create a new project. So I will click on new. I will click on project. And here type for ASP MVC. I have to create a new project. Click on this template. Click next. And I have to give a path here. No, let's me give a path. Dummy. Here I have to uh, give a name. Let's me create a folder. Extras. And inside this folder, I have uh, to give to create my project. Right. So the project name should be asp dot middleware right let's me click on next and i have to select the dot net 8 version click on create it will take a little time and the project will be created okay now let's me run the project so that we can see we can check whether it's working or not Okay, now I have also to show you the question that uh, my colleague developer was asked to implement a middleware that checks if a request contains the query parameter product ID is equal to 20 and then he has to redirect to the contact us page. Okay, now let's me move again towards the code and here let's me bring here. Okay. Now the project is running successfully. Let's me stop and I have to implement the middleware. Go to the program.cs class and here um, I have first to I have first to add a middleware. Okay. Now let's me add a folder. Okay, and here I have to add a class. Product uh, redirect middle where dot cs product redirect middle where cs. Okay, and here inside this class I have to first create a read only property of the request delegate ok private read only uh, request delegate ok and let's me give a name towards this delegate I will give name as underscore next ok and then I have to create a public uh, public constructor of this class ok 
and inside this constructor let me assign the value from the next so copy this one paste here as a parameter okay now we initialize the value of the next using the constructor and here i have to define an async method public async sorry guys async okay task uh, invoke async invoke okay and i will pass the http http context as a parameter and here i have to check if the product id exists inside the url as a query param if context sorry let's me give here the name context okay now if context dot request dot query dot contains key product id and context dot request dot query okay mm, i think i have to pass here the product id is equal to 20 okay then i have to redirect to the contact us page right no context dot uh, response dot redirect contact us okay otherwise um, i will return from here otherwise i will forward the request okay next context okay now it is basically the class implementation this class this middle will basically check if the url contains a query parameter product id and if its value is 20 then it has to redirect to the contact us page otherwise it will i mean shift the control to the next middleware right in the request pipeline now i have to go to the program.cs class and i have to just configure this middleware so let's me copy the middleware name and then go to the program.cs and after the routing use authorization here i have to use this middleware okay so app dot i have to use use middleware okay and the class name okay and just complete here like in this way so basically i register here this middleware in the request pipeline and i just give here the class name middleware class okay now let's me create a view with this name inside the home controller uh, controller home controller uh, for the time i will redirect to the let, let's me create a view okay so that we have no issue contact us okay and let's me go to the views mm -hmm. copy this one paste just rename okay now let's me run the program Okay. 
privacy policy okay and now i have to check whether the contact us page is working okay it's working let's me copy again the url and i have to give the correct url inside the middleware this one okay and i have also to to change the title of the page okay now let's me run the uh, application again now basically we are just checking uh, the query parameter inside the url okay now let's me go to the privacy policy page if i go to contact us it's working now for example i am at the home page now let's me go to the privacy policy page and let's me type something like in this way product id is equal to 20 okay now basically our middleware will check the product id if it's 20 then it has to redirect to the contact us page let's me press enter it did not work now i have to put the debugger is here inside the middleware okay okay next no let's we see uh, the condition did not match let's me quick watch okay sorry guys so basically i have to check like in this way no let's me run again the program Okay, our debugger is hit it. Now let's me continue. Now I have to type here question mark product ID for example 20. Then it should redirect towards the contact us page. Let's me remove the debugger. It should direct me to the contact us page. If I go to the privacy policy page and here if I again type product ID is equal to 20 it will redirect me towards the contact us page because of these middleware it checkings now let's me finally put here the debugger i have to go to the contact us page continue and here in the contact us page let's me type product id is equal to 20 here we can check that uh, there is uh, the product id in, inside the request has a query parameter and its value is 20 you can see therefore it will redirect to the home contact us okay now we have implemented basically the meter way like in this way so it is a very important question in .NET Core. You will have to ask this question in your uh, interviews like what is middleware and they may give you a scenario to implement the middleware from scratch. So you have to create a class like in this way and then create a constructor for this class, pass a delegate and then you can write your logic here in the invoke async function. Uh, and here in the program.cs just register i mean your middleware like in this way it is the configuration of the middleware inside the program.cs so this was about the middleware the question that mostly asked in interviews thank you for watching the video